Basics are boring. We all know it. Your mother tells you to go to bed early and eat your greens and you can't help but roll your eyes. But the thing with basics is you don't know what you have got till it's gone. Imagine you have an amazing car full of style and performance. You love it. You spend a lot of time and money enhancing its appearance, aerodynamic features, leather seats and what not. The car turns heads as you drive by. However, in the midst of all this focus on the exterior and performance upgrades, you overlook a crucial aspect, regular maintenance and servicing. Something that is boring and so basic, yet so critical for your precious possession. Just like our cars need proper maintenance to continue to function optimally, our bodies and minds need proper sleep. Actually, the problem is that our body is an incredible machine. Yes, you heard that right. Don't maintain a car and it will start to show signs within a matter of days. But our bodies, especially when we are young, can continue to function well without proper care. For so long, for so many years. So, we just feel it's fine. It's all good. Let me complete that extra office work right away. Let me watch that Netflix series tonight. Amongst all the important things that we want to accomplish in life, where's the time to think about sleep? In our quest for success, entertainment and productivity, we often prioritize external achievements and neglect the very fundamental need for sleep. Sleep is so basic that we often take it for granted. Unless, of course, it starts to show. But when our body or mind reaches its threshold, sometimes it may be too late. My dear friends, this video is a wake-up call to give our body and mind much needed respect they deserve. To pause and reflect if we have been neglecting and abusing them. Namaste. I am Gargi and you are watching The Aligned Souls, where we talk about mind, body and soul. Let's dive in. I am not here to tell you to sleep 8 hours a day without a miss. Life happens, right? If you have a young one, then you would not get sleep. I have been through that myself. If there is a work deadline, or you work shifts, or travel long haul, then your sleep will be affected. Mindlessly scrolling through social media feeds, especially in the wee hours of the night, is very common nowadays, which again hampers our sleep. The point is not to achieve perfection in sleep discipline, but to keep this in mind and do the best we can to give our mind and bodies the nurturing they need. We can check in on them on a regular basis and look for small ways in which we can improve and strengthen them. If you are doing your exercise regularly, you have a healthy diet and you take care of your mental health, but you lack sleep, then none of that is going to help you. You will end up unhealthy. Just like you need to charge your phone in order to use it, you need to recharge your energy levels as well. Your body can't keep on working endlessly and sleep is your body's charger. You need proper sleep to work efficiently. The connection between sleep and mental health is also vital and works in both directions. When your mental health dips because of stress, low mood or anxiety, at some point it will affect your sleep. On the flip side, when you have had insufficient sleep, it will start to show in your mood and your self-belief in your ability to bounce back. When you haven't had enough sleep, everything feels 10 times harder. Sleep has a significant effect on every aspect of your well-being and so if you think that your sleep is not as good as it should be, then it's worth your time and effort to try and improve it. We will now discuss a few tips to get you started. If you want to work on improving the amount of sleep or the quality of sleep that you are getting. Some of these are inspired by the work of Dr. Julie Smith. 
Again, we are not looking for perfection and you don't have to do everything on the list to get a good enough sleep. Do as much as you can based on your circumstances. There are times when life happens and it pulls you away from a healthy sleep pattern. But time and again, stop and check in with yourself and take corrective actions when needed. Keep vigorous exercise for earlier in the day and try keeping the evenings for relaxation. In the evening, when the sun goes down, keep the lights low. When it comes to screens, research suggests that it is less about the color of the screen and more about the brightness. So, turn down the brightness on the screens in the evening as much as possible and turn them off altogether as early as you can. Make time in the day to tackle things you are worried about. Make your decisions, your plans and take something off your to-do list. Getting good sleep is also about what you do during the day. We are good at problem solving in the daylight hours, but if we push those problems away and ignore them, they tend to pop up at night when we are trying to sleep. So. Clear the desk and clear your mind as much as you can during the day. Sometimes there are nights when as soon as we put our head on the pillow, our brain switches on and starts worrying about things, mulling over some past event or future tension. Try keeping a worry list. Keep a pen and paper beside your bed. When a worry pops up in your head, just write it down. A few words or some bullet points will do. Do the same for any other worries that come up. This becomes your to-do list for the next day. You make a promise to yourself to dedicate time tomorrow to working through these problems. That way, you are free to let them go for now and refocus your attention on your rest and sleep. You can't force sleep. Making sleep happen is not something you can choose to do. Sleep happens when we create an environment in which the mind and body can feel safe and calm. So, don't concentrate on sleep. Concentrate on relaxation, rest and calm. Your mind will do the rest. Avoid caffeine in the late afternoon and evening. The energy drinks that are being promoted to young people often contain high levels of caffeine that disturb sleep and cause symptoms of anxiety. As a general rule, it's a good idea not to consume anything in the lead up to bedtime. This specially includes big meals with high levels of refined sugar. Anything that gives you a spike in sugar levels is not going to help you get to sleep and stay asleep. Try to get as much natural light as possible within the first 30 minutes after waking up. Our circadian rhythm, which is our body's 24-hour internal clock, regulates our sleep pattern and it is governed by exposure to light. Exposing yourself to light for its health and sleep benefits is called light therapy. Indoor light can help, but natural light outdoors is the best, even on a cloudy day. Step outside for 10 minutes first thing in the morning. Also, Make time to step outside as much as possible throughout the day. Sleep meditation is a helpful practice for falling asleep and enjoying longer periods of rest. It might be challenging to unwind after a busy day, but research shows that mindfulness and sleep meditation can make a huge difference. When we hop into bed with our minds still racing, sleep meditation helps to give our thoughts a break soothing our body's nervous system and creating the perfect environment for a deep and peaceful sleep. I would suggest that you check out this video for a 15-minute guided sleep meditation. Please apply the methods and techniques that I just discussed and experience the benefits such as improved sleep quality, better mental and physical health, emotional stability, stress-free lifestyle, active and productive day-to-day -day routine and a jolly and enthusiastic mood. By nurturing our sleep, we ensure that the engine within us remains in top condition, powering us for success, happiness and overall well-being. Thanks a lot for watching and do subscribe to the channel for more videos on building a healthy mind, body and soul.